Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. In this video, we'll be rescuing this dummy. Let's go. This is gonna be the basic level one descending rescue. I have my casualty, he's on his backup device and in his descender. I will attach him to me on two separate points, lower him onto me and then we will descend down. Fairly easy, fairly simple. Let's go through this step by step. I take one of my cow's tails and attach it to the top D ring. The reason I'm doing it to the top D ring is because this is his backup. If he would fall, I want him to be in an upright position. We call this our long connection. The next part is going to be our short connection. This could also be two or three carabiners or a uh, 60 centimeter sling doubled up. Could be any connection between us, but it's going to be a short one. So one end of the short connection goes into the carabiner of my ID or my D sender. So if my casualty would come onto me, he's not actually onto me, but we will be both in the descending device. That's the most comfort and especially with more complicated rescues where we will get into the level two ones. And it's better if the casualty is suspended from the ID and not from me. So this little dude is unconscious. So what I want is have him in an upright position as well. So both connection points go here to the top one. Now, if we're doing complicated rescue scenarios, maybe if you need to hide like short link rescues or rescues from an eight climb, then it is possible to lower him onto yourself on his bottom D ring. But you have to manage your casualty afterwards to get him upright. And before I show you what to do next, I will tell you a little bit about the sponsor of this video. And the sponsor for this video is Industrial Klimmer. You can see me suspended in the beautiful training facility. Behind me, they are teaching a fire department to do some basic rescue techniques. You can come here for IRATA training, your GWO training, fire awareness, first aid, enhanced first aid. Basically, anything related to working at height. If you need any more information, check the link in the bio. All right, so I have attached my casualty to me on two separate anchor points. I will double check them. I have a cow still, my long connection and my short conne connection is the rescue set. All three carabiners are closed, so I can basically undo my casualty from all his anchor points. Now, one more thing. The level one rescue, it's from your own set of ropes. When we progress to our level two, then we need to climb up in this set of ropes or climb down in this set of ropes and rescue the casualty from that, that position. But for now, I can just come in on my own ropes make two connection points and lower him onto me. I go slow and controlled. When I have enough slack, I take the rope out of the casualties descender. And now I'm ready to go. But depending on what the manufacturer states, I might have to add some extra gear to be allowed to use this in a rescue scenario. So first, rope management, that's one, that's two. All the ropes are moving freely. And as Petzl states, when I'm using the ID in a rescue, I need to create an extra friction point. So most people teach it over here, which is perfectly fine. I have my extra friction here, so I can descend like this. Another way to do it, is I, I attach the carabiner over here. Turn a little bit. And then hold the rope like this. Also possible. I have my extra friction point and I go down in a slow and controlled manner. When I come down to the ground, I go down slow and controlled until I can stand. I will undo the extra friction point. Now I can step out easily of the carabiner, undo the long connection, 
And right now, I'm still able to sort of put my casualty in a comfortable position where I want. Maybe move him a little bit. He's fairly light like this. That's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions regarding this rescue, please leave a comment and I will address it as soon as possible. I will see you in the next one. Stay connected.